everyone welcome back to the channel today we are taking a break from excel and power bi and diving into the world of python especially we are going to make real time data analysis project using powerful python libraries like pandas numpy and matplotlib so if you are curious about how to structure and analyze data with python uncovering hidden insights in your numbers creating a stunning graph to tell your data story then buckle up because you are in the right place in the project number 1 we will tackle a data set and extract valuable information using these fantastic python tools we will be covering crucial steps like importing essential libraries let's meet the python superheroes who will help us to crunch those numbers loading data into pandas we will transform our data into a powerful pandas data frame for easy manipulation adding calendar magic time to get we will enrich our data with calendar attributes for deeper time based analysis diving into yearly sales get ready to zoom out and see the big picture overall sales trends and performance year by year monthly sales mysteries time to roll up we will uncover patterns and seasonality hidden within monthly sales data brand wise performance let's see which brands get the supreme position we will analyze sale performance by brands identifying star performers and sleepers territory wise performance who's winning the regional race we will break down the sales by territory and revealing pockets of success and opportunities for growth throughout this project we will keep things simple and engaging even for those new to python or data analysis i will explain every step clearly and demonstrate everything visually so you can follow along easily so these are the things you need to follow the first of all you need to install the anaconda by using this link i have pasted this link in the description you can get this link then you need to watch the videos in hd so you can see easily and you can also enable the subtitles as per your local language So basically that was the introduction of that project so now let's get started and start building this complete project so first of all we will import some essential libraries like pandas numpy and matplotlib so first of all i'm going to import necessary libraries from here i will make this heading okay now i will press shift from my keyboard and at the same time i will press enter when i will press shift enter it will make it heading and it will give me one new row so here i will be typing import pandas as pd import numpy as np import matplotlib.pyplot as plt basically this is our toolkit of data analysis pandas help us organize data into table numpy crunches the numbers and matplotlib brings those numbers to life visuals or you can call them charts or graphs so now i will press shift and enter so now my this code is executed successfully as you can see now this tarik converted to 1 so now i'm going to load my excel file here as a data frame from here i will convert this to heading okay and i will press shift and enter so it will send me to the next row so here i will store my data into this variable df df means data frame is equal to and i will be using pd i am using pd because here i converted this pandas to pd so that's why i'm using here pd dot read underscore excel parentheses so basically my excel file is stored in this folder so i'm copying the address of this folder control c and i will return back to my that project so here in these parentheses in commas i will paste the address of that particular folder where my file is located then backslash and the name of the sheet is sales.xlsx this is the extension name of that excel file so now my this all excel data is stored in df so now if i want to preview my data then i will be applying a function df 
df is my data because my all data that were in excel file now stored in df so if i will type df dot head parenthesis open and parenthesis close and i will press shift enter from my keyboard so now it will give me my data so basically in my data i'm having the region code region territory code territory brand code brand actual date of the transaction and my retail sale and my wholesale now my all data is stored in df now here i will be adding calendar attributes and total sales column so now i will be selecting heading okay and I will press shift enter from my keyboard so it will convert it to heading and here I will be adding one more column that will contain the total sales so the name of the data frame is df in df I want to add this total sales and is equal to I want to add df I want to add this retail column and plus df square brackets and here i want to add this wholesale okay so now if i will be preview my data df dot head now you can see here i'm having the total sale so i have added one column where i added my retail and wholesale so this is my total sale so now i will be adding the rest columns for the calendar now here i have to abstract the month so for this i will be typing df in df i want to add one column with the name of month is equal to df and in my data set in my data frame i have this actual date and from actual date i want to abstract for abstraction we use dt function and i want to abstract i want to abstract month similarly i can abstract dt dot month dt dot year dt dot day so dt function is used to abstract month day or year from date so now here i'm having this total sales column and here i will be adding month column that will be after this one so now if i will press shift enter so now you can see one column is added here for month similarly i want month year df square brackets and here i need month year is equal to df from my this actual date i need to abstract dt and dot so now i will be typing here str str mean string f mean format str mean string f mean format and time so here i will be using a function string format time and in this I want percentage B and percentage year. B mean month and Y mean year. So in Python, you must remember this. If I will be using B, that's mean month and Y for year. So now if I will press shift enter, here I'm having December 21 means month name and year name so if i will type b capital and y capital then it will give me complete name so i'm typing the small these small letters so now it will give me the shorter form now i will be abstracting the day so i will be using df square brackets and here i want day is equal to similarly i will be using dot dt dot day i want to get day so i write day so now if i will press shift enter so now it will giving me the number of day of the month similarly i want to get the name of the day so here i will be this is my day name and here i will be using dot string str means string f4 format time and here i will be typing percentage a so now if i will press shift enter so it will return me the name of the day so similarly if i will make it small a so it will give me the shorter name of the day at the end i will be abstracting df square brackets and i want the year is equal to df and this same thing dot dt dt is to abstract and i want to abstract year so now you can see here i'm having the year 
these calendar columns make it easier to group and analyze data by these time frames so now we will be making a pie chart where we will be comparing the year sales stats so i'm making this a heading this is my heading okay and shift enter so now first of all i will be making a data frame that i will be using for my this pie chart so i'm saying this is my year sales is equal to df df is my data frame where my all data is stored df dot pivot underscore table so this is my pivot table in pivot table my index index mean my rows in my index i need my this year in values i need to calculate my this total sales and my aggregate function is sum so here i provided three things index means in my rows i need years in values i need to calculate total sales and my function my aggregation function is sum i need to sum my total sales so that's why i'm writing here the sum so if now i will print its head the first five rows shift enter so i'm getting this error because i didn't separate them by comma so i just need to enter comma here so uh, this is my sales now i have to reset its index when i will reset its index it will convert into a new table so this is my new table i'm going to store my sales this is my new pivot table and in pivot table this is my total sales so i'm storing my total sales in this y here i have to create pie chart and i will be typing plt i'm typing plt because i have made its variable this one so that's why i'm typing this plt plt dot pie into y y is my sales so basically my these sales are stored in y so that's why i'm putting y here so now if i will press shift enter from my keyboard so this is my pie chart so now before this plt dot pie here i will be typing plt dot figure fix side 8 by 8 now if i will press shift enter so now here i will be typing labels is equal to x so now this will showing me 2021 and 2022 basically these both years are in this data so now i'm going to write here auto percentage is equal to so here in inverted commas i will be typing this is my percentage this percentage means here i'm going to start a format and at the end i will be typing two percentage that's mean here i'm closing this format and here i will be typing f f mean float basically this is a float number now if i will press shift enter so it is showing 2021 having 60 percent sales and 2022 having almost 40 percent sales so now if i will be typing here point that's mean zero decimal if i will press shift enter so now this is showing me the whole number if i will be pressing one here now it will be showing me one decimal so by this you can show the percentage of the sales so at the end i will be typing plt dot title so here i will be typing sales by years and plt dot show so my this pie chart is ready now here i can compare the sales of both years even i can show the table of the sales at the beginning of this so my this analysis of yearly sales stats is ready so now we are going to making monthly sales trend showing the monthly trend on a bar chart so first of all i'm going here and from here i will be copying this pivot table this one this is my pivot table i will replace this yearly number with my month number so i will be typing this is my monthly sales and i will be replacing this as well with monthly and this year with my month so my month is this one so i will be replacing this and now if i will be printing my this this is my sales on the basis of month now in my this pivot table i will be storing these months in my x value so in square brackets i will be typing this month here here and my y is equal to my this month and in month i will be storing my this total sales so my total sales will be here so now here i will be creating bar graph 
so i will be typing plt dot bar and it required two myers the first one is x and the second is my y and here i will be typing plt dot show so this is my chart now i will remove this print i will be copying this so this is my bar graph plt dot title sales by months plt dot x label my x label will be month here and plt dot my y label will be my total sales now this is showing me this total sales this is my title this is my x label and this is my y label total sales and now plt dot x ticks and rotation will be 45 so now this is looking cool so after this now i have brand y sales trend and here i will making this a heading and i will copy this code and i will rearrange this code as per the brand so now in index i need brand this is my brand sales I'm copying this brand sales brand sales and here I replace this to brand and values will be total sales because I have to calculate the values of total sales so now here in x axis in x axis if I print if I print this brand sales here so in x axis I have to print this these brands and in y axis I have to print total sales so in my y axis I already having total sales but in my x axis i have to print this brand this brand okay so plt figure this will be same these are my brand wise sales and in this is my title and my x label will be my brand sales and y title will be total sales and i also replace this monthly sales with brand sales and this with brand sales now if i will press shift enter now you can see here i'm having my sales by brands now i want to sort my sales from maximum to minimum so now i'm going to brand sales is equal to brand sales dot sort values into sort by this total sales and ascending is equal to false so that's mean ascending is equal to false means i'm setting the sorting to descending so descending mean from largest to smallest so now if i will press shift enter now it will sort my values from largest to the smallest i'm going to show you the territory wise sales trend so now i'm making this heading okay and i will press shift enter now i will be copying this code and i will be pasting it and here this is my territory wise sales so i will replace this territory with this with this this one this one this one this one and i will replace this brand with territory so i'm copying pasting this territory spelling from here and i will paste on this brand i will also replace this brand with territory and this is my territory wise sales and this is my territory sales and the remaining part will be same so now if i will press enter so these are my territory wise sales